All right, guys, here we go. Round two of the third place match. The previous losers for the uh, blue team in the upper left. It is Team Council Hacksaws has chosen Airfields as the counter pick map. It is Stuart 98 and Overkill 2142 going with the same combination Warthog Angel as they went in the last game. In the bottom right, you have Team Smelly Sandals with Mayor 247 and Hawk 485 clearly being very cheeky, as if you look at their loadouts, they have each opted to take five no unit slots, uh, going with strictly Sam's and Rebels and Goliaths for Hawk. Uh, Sam's Brutes and Bot Spawners for Mayo 247. So, actually, starting off on the back foot, they are working to defend their own post here in the top right. These Sam's, they are many things, but they are not fast. That is something that they will never be. They might still be able to hold off the blue team here. The blue team has not brought any more Ooh. reinforcements. And Stuart Double is striker no. damage. Okay. Stuart's okay. <laughs> Stuart's okay. Stuart did not try to snipe, so Stuart does survive this. And uh, Hawk, a little dangerous Hawk here with, with a flapper. Down here oh gosh! By the ground to air from Overkill, just going Beautiful. straight down. I love to see the ground to air play um, on a Warthog. One of my favorite tactics when I played a lot um, using Warthog was that ground to air. Super, super cool move. And um, yeah. The council getting a player kill. <laughs> I am psyched about that as well. It does look like the green team is pretty empty here. What have they decided to use? Have they have they fully socketed bot spawners? They haven't even done that yet. Or at least, you know, they've all been destroyed. Some of them have been. Um, and it they've looks been like they shipping are Sam's and bots into mid, but you've got the double gaddy and quad brutes on that post. Yeah, so it's, it's just everything they send is getting melted away. Now, admittedly, the, the anti-infantry capabilities of the blue team are scant. Um, they have rebels, so but they need to kill the neutrals first. Yeah, uh, the and the green team was completely aware of the counter pick. They, you know, with, with this trolley loadout with all the no units, it's um, obviously they weren't going into it seriously. So they definitely knew what they were about to run into, especially because they played airfields earlier in the game, or earlier in the tournament. I think, uh -oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Stewart sniped a bot spawner. Does transform away. Does oh, have with a oh, little bit of wow. communication by Hawk and Mayora, both of them going low, and so getting Viking danced away. Yeah, usually, especially in a team that you know you're going to play in for, you know, a couple games, you um, assign one guy to go low and one guy to go high. Usually, it depends on the mech, but they have the same, you know, they have the same mech combination. So, all you got to do is agree, you know, Maurer goes low, Hawk goes high, you're good. Oh, and now we're seeing a mass Sam push into a Gemini wall, which is and not good. And socketed Gaddies on yes. every slot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Stuart and Overkill have definitely caught on to Mayor and Hawk's game here, and they're just cranking out the all the anti-infantry they can muster. It does look like Maurer is going with a Sam drop at the fort. I mean... That can do a lot options. of damage if unresponded to. Which it won't be. Stuart's about to come back just to shoot his pistols, pistol pistols at the at the Sams. Um, but what I was gonna say is, you know, out of all the options they have, that's one of the few, due to their, you know, you they can, can Sam drop. Well, they can yeah, Sam drop all day, and that's very, about all they can do. That's yeah, it's pretty freaking close. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Gaddies and Gemini. All you really need. They have Rebels as well. So I mean, it's not like they don't have an easy decisions to make uh, the blue team in terms of what units to, to, to build. Maurer again with Sam drops. They just need to socket a few gaddies at fort and that will shut all these Sam drops down hard. But in the meantime it looks rebels. like they're just building up a unit pile in this top right so that eventually they can just push straight for fort and end it. There's tons of Sams um, down on the field for the green team. They could do that Sam wall thing with a bunch of um, you know, the heavier units to protect because the SAMs are so damage efficient for the credits. Um, I think that was um, the Iron SAM defense by uh, Makuo. Uh, but uh, still, against the unit composition that the blue team has, because they are so aware of what the green team has, probably still not going to do too much. Probably still not going to do that much. Well, this game is kind of trolly in general. If you go back to that middle post and take a look at the infantry that are socketed in it... Oh! <laughs> You'll notice some uh, FF2000s uh, humping their way outward. 
Just trying to express their lust for the next battle. Yeah. Uh, and Stuart getting killed, but what's new? Uh, that's hilarious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna free cam and zoom in on, on those things because this, this game doesn't really have anything going for it. There you go. Hi, FF 2000s. Yes. Put your little Pez slot toward the fort. There you go. Yes. Yes. Is it creepy that I'm saying it like that? Yeah, that's actually, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's pretty wrong. Well, anyway, back to the game, uh, I guess. Yeah, so the blue team just needs to do something. Yeah, this is definitely, the ball is in the blue team's court. They can, you know, end this game or throw it. We've got a lot of lag on that send. Yeah, it's um, weird. The way that this is moving is super weird. Blame it on the ice cream buckies. Whoa, this is super strange. Is it, does it look really weird and choppy for you? It's skipping a lot of frames, yes. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, yeah. Stuart getting killed one more time over his own outpost, almost making it back with the loop, but a half a second too late. Well, Maor 247 and uh, Hawk 485. Did you call them the... Who, who did you call, like, the number men or something like that? that By the numbers. Does. By the numbers, okay. Okay. The and choppiness that was, that was has resolved. Thing. I'm yes, yes, sure. it has. I've never actually seen that. That was pretty weird. Um, okay, so green team deciding to counter push not towards the base with all the units at it, but rather towards the top. So it's likely that they will try to push these on Y and turn it into a base race, something that Sam's uh, will probably win uh, if they were fast. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they're it's, not. The blue team already has all their units there. They're already doing tons of damage to the fort. The green team trying to defend, I'm not sure why, and they so were not Mayor on. So pretty much just throwing this game out of confidence for the third. Um, this might be so. a little bit of Casey at the bat syndrome here. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, maybe they're really confident in what their map counter pick will be. They could totally go for biohazard again, I guess. But that's that's gonna be it. This was um a strange, weird. strange little game. A strange, strange waste of time, I think, is a good way to put it. So, uh, cool, cool guys, cool. Uh, hopefully that it next game won't be as terrible. All right. All right.